Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. When we last left off, we were still in the Grand Archives here, but we were about to be done, I think, with the Grand Archives pretty shortly here. I'm going to dug my head in some wax, just, uh, just because I can. Um, this will be probably the last time we see Waxhead, so we may as well, may as well appreciate it. I don't know how we're breathing, but then again, we're undead, do we even have to breathe? These are all questions for another time. Uh, for now, I believe we want to go, I believe we want to go this way, question mark. Uh, this is not the way that I had in mind, um, however, this guy's here. I don't think we've ever actually gone over here. We got these guys. There we go. Can we drop onto something cool from here? Oh no, we have been over here. We've definitely been over here. Yeah, okay. Um, we do not want to go that way. We want to go up, and uh, I think we want to go around. I don't know. We're looking looking to get back to the bridge one way or the freaking other. Uh, we got books here. Oh, we got this gentleman. This is I guess this is exactly where we would have come up if we just came up the stairs. But this is maybe a little bit more interesting. Where or oh, where? Give me your flamberge. About high time we had a flamberge, I think. Um, probably gonna get plunging attacked here, but I'm still gonna kill that guy. I know he just stepped on us a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, so. Ah, yeah, this is, uh... This is where the, uh, the hidden wall is for the beast person, or whatever. So where the fuck is our bridge? Is this, the, this is gonna be the bridge? This is... Sort of the bridge. Yeah, I think this is what we want. I don't know. It took a little bit of a roundabout uh, path, but we have, uh, I think we've we have arrived. <laughs> Either way. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're, we're going to go back to the rooftops, and um, rather than fall down this time, we are going to go ahead and uh, simply continue on the path that is laid before us and uh, that way we don't, we don't end up backtracking back to here because there's no other way to go. Is this, was I already in the right area? I might have already been in the right area. Is that a lever as well? No, that's just a candelabra, I think. Okay, so I think we've already killed everything out here. Well, not everything, but everything on the on the path uh, out here. Um, so we don't need to worry about that so much. We will need to worry about another gargoyle pretty shortly. Specifically, I guess, probably this gargoyle right here. Maybe we can bug him out, though, again. Because he is now... he is now disappeared. And this makes my life lots, lots and lots easier. There we go. There's one. Where's the other one? No, you don't. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, that's okay. We oh, <laughs> we don't need to worry about him too much. Um, I mean, at this point, we're not going to use any Twinkly and Titanite or anything that they're going to give us. We could, re like, just reload the game or whatever, you know. Go to the menu screen and come back and he'll reappear, but I don't think it's worth it. So, I guess whatever he's carrying will remain a mystery for your own playthrough. <laughs> for now, I think we just pretty much need to come over here. Titan Knight Chunk is okay. I want to say yes. This is this is the danger zone because there are two asshole fucking gargoyles on this ledge here. Get out of here! Oh shit! Did we fall through the world? I was gonna say I'm gonna be furious if that happens because <laughs> I've earned enough of my own deaths. I don't need the game helping me out with bullshit uh, technology. But yeah, there's another. Can we can we bug this guy out too? Boink. Nope, I guess not. Man, on resource actually tearing this guy up. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Like the uh, the bleed effect isn't gonna work on these gargoyles. I don't think at all. They might. They're probably just straight up immune to it. Got just enough to do one of those. And there we go. Very nice, yeah. 
The resort, definitely the way to go there. Uh, that was actually probably the easiest time I've ever had with uh, with that encounter. Uh, normally because uh, I end up aggroing both gargoyles accidentally or something, but I guess we pretty much just want to jump down here uh, at this point. I think there's an alternate path up here, but... Uh, but uh, I can't quite recall what it is. I think we just pretty much have to go through the window at this point. We don't have much in the way of options here. What's up, buddy? Backstab! Oh, and we didn't even quite kill him, I don't think. Oh, did we? No, we we got him. Okay. Thought there was a little bit of HP left there. <laughs> what have we got here? An undead bone shard. I think it's our last one, actually. Or maybe there's one more. Ah, yeah, okay. So, I completely... Oh, no, I didn't miss the ladder. I, I see. I didn't kick it down, be, or I needed to kick it down. But yeah, that's the other path up there, and I guess we do get to dunk our head once more, which is nice. Always fun to do. Here we go. I wish we had a candle on our head, though. There's a way that we could get a candle on our head. That would be cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that is where there's a giant asshole fight. So I'm not going to go there just yet. <laughs> Instead. Oh, wasn't expecting you. Ow. Ow. Enough is enough. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. What is, uh, what's this all about? No illusion ahead? Sadness. Um, yeah, we should go and see what's over here. There's actually a red-eye gentleman over here. But he's, uh, luckily he's not uh, a shield guy, so that does make our life potentially a little bit easier here. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Yes, I can. And do a fucking pitiful, just a pitiful amount of damage to him, but at the same time... Oh, he's even got a lightning sword. Shit. I was trying to lock onto him there, but... If we can get some bleed going, I think we'll be a lot happier. He's got crystal weapon on, too. There we go. So that could have been worse. <laughs> Certainly could have been worse. Got another ember, actually, out of that guy. What do we got over here? A couple Titanite chunks. And it looks like that's about it. Just the view of the castle down there. Well, I guess that's all that there was. I don't see like a lever or anything. Can we shoot the chandelier down? Is there any reason to attempt it? I don't think so. Oh, hey, look at this guy. I never saw you before. You silly, silly slug man, you. I'm going to shoot you. Try to shoot you. I don't know if there's any way to get up on those rafters, but I am going to shoot this guy down if I can. I wonder if you uh, are you weak to fire. Uh, yeah, a little bit. He doesn't he doesn't like fire. Almost got him. Hua. He he is deceased. Ooh, and down he goes. <laughs> I don't think it didn't look like he had any items. But uh yeah, I don't know if I, I don't think I ever saw that guy before. Kind of interesting that he's up there. I wonder who, what he's doing up there. If there's a way for us to get up there. I guess we could try just for fun. I don't know, is this going to work? Uh no. No it is not. Well, that's too bad, but um yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I've missed any Levers here. Is there a ladder or anything that I missed? I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Maybe like a some more crazy illusions or something. Which, by the way, reminds me. I think I missed something back in Irithyll, uh, um, the Boreal Valley or whatever, Irithyll. <laughs> but, but, uh, might be a little bit late to go back and get that now. Just a spell that we could use, potentially. And, um, maniacally cackling woman. Alright, I think we're we've we've done our due diligence here. It's fine. Uh let's go ahead and see if we can deal with this fight. Uh I wish we had some FP for this, but sadly that is not uh gonna be in the cards. So we just need to be quick here. Um I guess I'm gonna try and get this guy first. Ooh, if I can get him to come over here. Here we go. Poked him to death a little bit there. 
Just need him to come over here. No, stop swinging. Just get your fat ass over here, you bitch. Ah, shit. Well, in this case, I think we gotta go for, uh... This lady here, because she is by far the most dangerous of the bunch. These people will not respawn. But, um... But, uh, they are very, very challenging. Especially because there's three of them. But the wizard lady, I mean, she's just gonna fucking ruin your whole Christmas. If you let her, uh, cast on you while you're fighting these other guys. These guys do have Estus as well. Which is, uh, very annoying. There we go. Alright, we got one of them. And like I said, they don't respawn, so that does actually make your life a little bit easier. Oh my god, I got parried by the wizard! I can't even believe it. Luckily, she tried to follow up with a spell, which made my life immensely easier. This has actually gotten far easier than I expected it to. Uh, I usually die here. Alright, let's, let's cool it for a second here. What are you doing? What are you up to? <laughs> he's got a he's got a, like a katana as you can see. Oh man, that hurts. That's uh the special move of said katana. I think we probably want to use uh our twin blades here. Cause he's not very well armored. Does have Estus, but it's not gonna save him. <laughs> there we go, nice. Whew. Give me your shit. Onakuri, or Onakiri, and Nubadachi. And then we got the Golden Wing Crest Shield. So let's take a look at some of these items we just picked up, I guess. Um, we have acquired uh, equipment, quite a bit of it. Um, the hunter is known as the King's Black Hands wielded paired weapons. These belong to Kamui, who looked after the prince. Kamui brought Onakiri with him to the undead settlement, where he forged Ubadachi and was finally prepared to join the ranks of the royal hunters. Now, this is actually something we could use if we if we had, well, I guess if we had more decks. <laughs> but it's got bleed on it, uh, quite a bit. And it's got that sweet uh, jumping slash move as well. Um, then we also got a staff. Uh, crystal Catalyst presented as a gift by the Crystal Sages to their favorite pupil, Crim... Creamhild? Crimehild? Creamhild? Cri probably Crimehild. <laughs> um, crystal Spheres devour the will of the user, and the staff increases the potency of sorceries at the cost of increased FP consumption for skills. And then we got a shield. A golden wing crest shield. A blue knight's shield engraved with a golden wing crest. This shield is exceptional amongst the enchanted blue shields. Uh, not only does it boast high magic absorption, it also enables its wielder to parry spells, which is something that I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know if you can like reflect spells back at people or if you can just parry them for no damage. But uh, it's kind of an interesting concept. But we're not going to wear that shield. We don't need it. Um, at this point, we've pretty much like defeated the most difficult part of this area, at least what I expected to be the most difficult part. Just kind of take a look around out here. We've got uh, some very strange looking statues here. At least that one's particularly strange. This one is uh, pretty strange as well. It's like a melted wax man. I guess reminiscent, or not reminiscent, but representative of the scholars or something. Look at this motherfucker smiling at at us. Oh. What does that look like to you? Doesn't that look a little bit like, uh... Frampt, maybe? Frampt slash Kath from, uh... Dark Souls 1, the, the uh, primordial worms? Kinda does to me. I'm not sure what the relation is there, necessarily, but, uh, it's pretty interesting to see, nonetheless. Maybe they still have some influence in this world, uh, after all. Maybe they're still alive, I don't even know. But uh, at any rate, I think we've got a shortcut coming up here pretty, uh, well, shortly. <laughs> I think it's right, right here, yeah. This is going to be a big elevator that leads us uh, way, way, way down. Way down. 
to, um, I think the main bonfire. Yeah. However, there is uh, more to the story here, which is kind of interesting. So if we come over here, and don't worry, we will go back to Firelink and spend these souls, but uh, if we come over here like this, remember that trick where we met um, Siegvard? Well, that trick applies here too, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it doesn't apply here too. Maybe I got the wrong elevator. There's uh, there's another elevator where we can um, make it go up, but there's another elevator under it. I guess it's actually a little bit further up, probably. So we'll pull that lever, and then uh, I think we'll use this bonfire and get out of here. Let us travel back to Firelink Shrine, and I think what we might do with these souls, rather than level up, is, uh... Well, actually, I mean, I don't know. Let me let me see what what, we, what we're looking at here, because I do want to buy spells from Orbic. Welcome home, speak very well. Uh, even though we won't use them, it's just to advance his storyline, basically. Um. Oh man. All right, all right. Tell you what, we'll we'll do this, just because. Uh, Farewell, Ashen Maiden. Then we can uh, try out. We can give up the the twin blades for a bit, maybe, and try out the uh, the other. Weapons that we have here. Ah, Although I don't know if me. if uh, they'll be good for us, because I don't know if we can make them hollow. I guess that's actually a good point. Should have checked that first. Um, we can, it looks like. Um, so yeah, let's uh, make them hollow. We, they lose a little bit of damage and then gain a little bit of damage. That's fine. Um, and then what we want to do is just go ahead and upgrade the shit out of these. And maybe we'll try these for a bit, for uh, the last bit of the game here, because the Twin Blades are excellent, but these uh, also have similar stats, um, and maybe a little bit more bleed even, so... Uh, yeah, we have plenty of shit to be able to reinforce these. And uh, the bleed keeps going up, which is actually really interesting. Good stuff, and we actually have a Titanite Slab to use as well, so there you go. <laughs> the Twin Blades have served us extremely well, so I'm a little bit sad to give them up, but we'll we'll try this for a bit. The question is, can we still roll? We uh we can just just a bit, just barely. But uh, yeah, I'm curious because we get to like the uh, the katana move set, but we also get uh, the sweet uh, <laughs> the sweet jumping attack, which is pretty cool. And then we get, um, if we get some stand back here, we also get, you know, the, uh, the double attacks there. So it seems pretty good. Uh, curious how the damage compares. Actually does more damage than the Twin Blades. Uh, I guess actually, no, the Twin Blades have the same bleed effect, so. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it seems, seems pretty okay. Uh, what else? What else was I going to uh, look at? Oh, can we uh, can we still parry? No, if we we lose our parry, but we gain the katana's big attacks, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But eh, we'll we'll roll with this still for a little bit. Um, at this point, uh, hmm, what should we do? How let's let's take a look. Actually, let's talk to Orbeck real quick because we actually have a scroll to turn into him anyway. And I just want to see roughly how many how many souls it's going to cost to uh, back again. I to uh, you know buy all of his shit. Unfathomable. This is a crystal sorcery created by the Pale Dragon, thought only to exist in legend. I am ever grateful to you. This is truly sublime. I am afraid this is a debt I cannot repay. Only. I will be sure to unravel it for you. Just a moment. All right. Again, I'm Orbeck of Vinheim, here to teach you sorceries. Let us begin with the basics. The ideal sorcerer bears the twin faces of the dragon. It... Oh, you could at least act as if you're paying attention. That's all he's got for me after that? Again. 
That is uh, that's all he's got. All right. Well, um, it's looking like not that bad, actually. Um, hundred thousand souls could probably do it. It does take that long to get a hundred thousand souls, so maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll go and farm that on my own here, uh, and I'll make a cut here, and then we'll uh, we'll learn a little bit more about Orbeck and uh, continue on a little bit further, maybe. Or actually, you know what? Maybe we'll just uh, let's just call this one a shorter episode. I'll go I'll go ahead and I'll get all these sorceries, um, or we get the souls for them. We'll buy them all. And then we'll talk to Orbeck, and then we'll actually probably, next episode, get to the boss of uh, this area, I think. Um, I think we're getting pretty close here. I'm not sure exactly how it's all going to shake out. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.